How did you hit that low? You shot my groin. As YouTube's foremost pain scientist, I've taken hits from nearly every less lethal weapon available on the market. Some severely underwhelming, others borderline lethal. But when I saw Berna's latest release, the CL Compact Launcher, claiming to be the smallest and most powerful of its kind, I knew it had to be tested. With a muzzle velocity of 400 feet per second and an energy density of 41.9 joules per inch squared, it has the specs to be one of the hardest hitting launchers I've tested, despite its compact size. So how effective is it really? And can it stop someone who gets hurt for a living? Well, there's only one way to find out. And as always, never try anything you see in this video. Let's go get shot again. Here, here I go getting shot again. Before we begin this video, I want to mention that this video is not sponsored by Berna. It seems like some people thought my last video featuring a less lethal from Berna was sponsored, but it wasn't. They just stole the entire video and posted it on their YouTube channel. Those sons of guns. Yeah, honestly, smart marketing move, to be honest. They got free, you know, advertising out you, of me. You gonna take them to court, use Keller and Keller? No, I'd use Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> also not sponsored. I'm only saying that because oftentimes when I do something like this, they think a big corporation is sponsoring me. If they do sponsor me, you will know. We are free to say whatever we want about this because they're not paying me money. And it's America, it's First America. Amendment. Yeah, free speech. I don't know what we're going on about. <laughs> <laughs> but now let's talk about what we're doing today. The Berna CL, it is a con packed launcher. Now, this is the first Berna I ever got shot with. Look at the size difference here. It could fit in your pocket. Yeah. This would fit in your pocket, but be awkward. Maybe a purse. Yeah. Yeah, purse would be definitely a better duffel bag. Yeah. 100%. Mm -hmm. Now, the crazy thing about this, this shoots a 0.61 caliber round. Almost every less lethal I've tried up to this point shoots a 0.68 caliber. So it's smaller, and I think that is what causes it to have a more energy transfer, higher joules, higher velocity. Main reason why I decided to do this video, it is much different than other less lethals I've tested in the past. I'm very interested to see if it results in more pain and more long lasting damage. You've been through a lot of damage in the past 10 years, and from the cameraman, the camera woman, and I. We want to say congrats on five million. Oh wow! You you, you bought you got that just for me? No, your girlfriend bought it. Oh, but thanks to her as well. <laughs> well, before we shoot me, let's shoot a gallon of milk because that seems fun. Yeah. Mark, I want you to unload the entire clip into this milk jug. I will be concerned if it shoots straight through it. Bonus points for shooting the top off? Yeah, I'll give you a lot of bonus points for that, but don't waste all the ammo trying to shoot the cap off. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Hey. <laughs> Good job clearing the CO2. <laughs> Well, I don't. I don't think it penetrated all the way through. This is. Uh, this is good. This is good for me, at least. I would be scared if I heard this going off. It sounds loud, yeah, right? Yeah. For a uh, less lethal launcher, it seemed like the milk was enough to slow down the projectile. So you drink that. I mean, just drink, out, just drink out of the jug. <laughs> I get your vitamin D. Yeah, I get my vitamin D every morning. How so? How do you think? You a supplement guy. I open my hole to the sun. Yeah, so on to the next scene. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, I think we test the effective range onto my leg. I'm thinking 30 feet distance into my leg. Supposedly has an effective range of 60 feet. So we're gonna do half of that. I have another great idea. Okay. While I was shooting, like what if we covered all the vital important organs of your body and you know you just ran around and did some target range see this is why practice. the less, le less lethal community hates me because i do stuff like that i'm supposed to be responsible i guess we'll be responsible <laughs> <laughs> berna cl kinetic round shot into my leg at about 30 feet we'll see what happens hello did i miss i think you hit the knee pad <laughs> it hit my leg for sure, somewhere in the bounce. Not not cleanly. Where where were you aiming? Well, I went to pull it and it was a funny, funny feeling, so it's a harder I, trigger pull. I had on to re, re pull it and I think okay. I threw off my aim. Let's do one more. Aim a touch higher. I feel like it has a little bit of a drop to it. Oh, we shot your jacket. What the Where were you <laughs> aiming? Your leg. But where at the leg? I'm trying to troubleshoot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I think we got uh, two more shots in the CO2 before we should change her out, before she gets too weak on us. I thought I totally missed. <laughs> I don't know how you might, that's like a trick shot. My dry shield was there and you hit my lab coat. Uh, I amazed myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Zoning in. Dialing in. Did I get one? Yeah, you got one. Cool. Good job, shoot. Oh, wow, yep, that's what I expect too from that. Damn it, you know what we gotta do again? Fresh canister, because I think you can hear. Let's take a... No, it still had some good juice. That's it. So we had like, what, another at least good four solid shots. So I think we're good on that range test. That's pretty par for the course on these less lethals. Strips the skin off. I was uh, one for five from 30 feet. What do you think I'd be at 60 feet? I don't think you would hit me. I really don't. That's a challenge. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you. Give me a full round. A full clip. Uh huh. Magazine. I shouldn't yeah. say clip. People, the gun people hate that. Uh. Full magazine, five rounds, 60 feet. If you miss them all, you owe me 10 bucks. Deal. Yeah. And I guess I owe you 10 bucks if you hit one. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> give Mark a good old test shot to see the, uh, the bullet drop here. He's going to shoot at the box. Damn it. <laughs> Get that seemed there. rather good. Get up there, bud. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Did you see those shots? They went everywhere. They were wily. I saw these coming out of the barrel and they just had some curve to them. Oh. You did hit me. Oh, I did? You skimmed my hamstring. I don't know if you can see it. It wasn't a oh, substantial babe. blow. There is a, a little mark that looks like a like a rash. Yeah, it was a it was a kind of like a flyby shot. I don't. Does that mean he wins? I'll take five dollars. Okay, I'll give you five. Give me one more from the. Oh, well, we'll do one more clip from that distance. I really want to get hit from that distance. I want like a square hit. I want to see what it does because we're kind of testing their marketing. The uh, spread that I could feel seemed pretty vast. <laughs> <laughs> it was going everywhere around. Yeah. So I think we lose. You lose a lot of accuracy from that range, huh? Maybe if you like double thigh it. Okay. How about if I do like a? Uh, I'm actually not too scared of an inner. Uh, we typically avoid inner leg shots, but I will give you a. Double, double leg at that distance because I'm not too worried about the, the power. Nah, you'd be all right. Yeah, I think you just got to count for the drop and the spread. I don't know if you can count for the spread, to be honest. Let's try one more. Let's get a clear out the CO2. Let's see if we can land one. Did you just shoot the neighbor? They're in the ditch. It's your problem now. All right, Mark moved out. Shot one. Ground! Aim up! Oh! That hit! That hit! Stop! 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 Say go! I missed on purpose. Ow! Jesus. Okay. Did well, I get the front you know of the what quad? it was like from that distance? Like I got shot with a paintball. Ah. It did strip my skin off. Oh, right on. Tattoo. Interesting. And I hate my tattoos. I, I this, do was your, like this was your piece of art, too. Do you think Star Wars would hire me? Yeah, as a stormtrooper? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, you got the job. Dude. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my resume. Blast him! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot out a silhouette. <laughs> Effective range is not 60 feet. The only reason that has any like kind of like real stopping power is that the projectile is so hard. That is like a pretty much a paintball at range. Probably would cut you, even if you got hit in the head on that one. What happened to your inner leg? Oh, that's where it bounced off, yeah. Oh. So from my leg position and what did this, that's actually pretty cool though. Double hit. But it's it's really not that, it's not that painful from that range. The the pain was exponentially higher at 30 feet, which does make sense. You wanna try from one foot? No, you can. I thought you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we're gonna do next, uh, we're gonna bring it back to 30 feet, we're gonna do a round to my stomach. For the Grimberg, that was pretty devastating. Yeah. It almost looked like we broke my rib. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a good test. And you're looking very fit, so I should just deflect <laughs> so, right off you. Dude, thank you, you're right. Free show. Jocelyn, stop looking. <laughs> no reaction. Everyone has to like the video. Well, no sound. No reaction seems disingenuous because I put down the shield. So I won't make a sound. I'm gonna hit his belly button. And Don't, no, no, he won't. He won't mute it. He won't. He didn't understand me.
I was very close to forgetting uh, about not making a sound. You looked really happy when you put the shield down. Yeah, because uh, as I was putting it down, there was a frown and I turned that frown upside down. That's what I like about you. <laughs> Had to really change that up. Damn, okay. Oh. <laughs> that looks weird. Oh, that's low. You hit me right in the bone. I was aiming for the belly button. Let's do one more. Okay. <laughs> Double or nothing. I don't know what that means in terms of likes on a video, but share it. Yeah, that, that makes sense. You gotta share the video now. Share it with your coworker. What did you say? Uh, I said send it to your coworker. I assume everyone that watches us works, so. That's a big assumption. <laughs> <laughs> Ready. Belly button? Did I get it? How did you hit that low? Oh. <laughs> How did you hit that low? You shot my groin. Oh no. I was aiming up. Come over here, Jake. Can we show it? I, I'm going to show it, but. Oh, it's really low. Well, we can't count that. I reacted. Do it again. Sorry. <laughs> Aim higher. <laughs> again. Good. Good. <laughs> I just want to let you know that's good. That's not a reaction. <laughs> I just had to inform you. Yeah. No, that you're was very good. important of me. Yeah. We'll, we'll call it clean. Because 100% you were going to keep shooting. I know that. No, I saw that it hit you. Oh, you did? Yeah. It was deflected off you like you were steel. Not bad. Annoying. I would say it's annoying. I don't think it's as bad as the Grunberg for my at least uh, first impressions. Yeah, it doesn't afterwards. seem as lethal. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice mark. That one definitely cut you up more. I meant like that shot. Oh, the, oh, the shot, the slow shot? Yeah. How much is swollen? Yeah. And yeah. the one even lower. Ooh. That one really hurt. And that was through my <laughs> pants. You got a lot of important organs there. Yeah, Not a my, lot of muscle. My intestines. More or less. All right. So we've done distance. We've tested different parts of the body. Let's bring it in close uh, to the leg. 15 feet. Should be no way you can miss that shot. I think that's like a very realistic. If anything, I would say it's more of a practical scenario if you're ever going to use this. 15 yeah. feet or closer, I think. Five to 15 feet. Yeah. So we'll test it at 15 and to the leg and see how we think about it. Should I aim for his cup? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ready. Oh, that was dead accurate. Gross, gross, gross. Just gross. I feel like I made up for me somewhat reacting on the last one by not reacting on that one. I reacted for you. Yep. Gross. But that doesn't count for me. I wasn't like as bad as I was expecting. Took a chunk out. Took a chunk. Oh, it's getting grosser. Yeah, it's going to fester for sure. But good job missing the, the slingshot hole. I think it was because of the way I was sitting. It really helped <laughs> dial it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Indian style. Yeah. <laughs> Laid back. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that one. That is really... F Look, it looks like it's like a piece of my muscle. You know what time it is? Time to shoot you. Into the leg, through clothing. This is going to be the clothing test. I say 20, 25 feet. I'll give you 10. From where you were? Yeah, I just don't want you to miss. I, that makes sense, yeah. Your, yeah. your aim is as good as mine. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to contest that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the shield up, please, Mark. Okay. When everyone's ready. Ah! Oh, that hurt my toe, too, because I dropped the right shield. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you ever just get... Tired of pain? <laughs> Not really, it's my job. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually, we took a week off. I was excited to do this one today. Uh, I will. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I was bored last week. I'm glad I, we did the clothes test. <laughs> <laughs> so, give me your thoughts. Made me instantly drop the shield because it didn't make me think of anything else, just the pain. Similar to whatever the gun was last year. The, okay, yeah, the, the Grimberg. I think I did that without the shorts. So, ah, yeah. it just all freaking hurts. Yeah. That reaction was very similar to the, the larger slingshot ball we shot at you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It was a very similar reaction. I think the slingshot one hurt more. Okay, yeah. that's good data. Yeah. That's what I need to know. I do like the way this looks, though, because it, it look at how white that is. That looks look like he has, like, necrotic flesh. I thought you didn't see color. I see performance. You're right. Thank you. And your skin does not perform well. My skin performs great. What do you mean? Talking about Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to agree. Thanks for clarifying, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put an end onto this experiment by shooting five of the pepper balls into the riot shield and blasting it up to my face. Why not just five right here? 
We're gonna shoot uh, three of the pepper balls into Mark's chest, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Final test of the Burnus CL. There's pepper rounds loaded, only three because we shot one into the ground on accident, and it's in the air now, and my eyeball's burning. We're gonna shoot into the riot shield. I'm gonna protect my eyes with this, just so I don't get any shards of plastic in my eyeballs. Close range. I won't miss. Pepper spray. Oh, the wind's going that way. Effective? <laughs> no, get away from me. Ah, it's hurting more. Oh. <laughs> that ended everything. <laughs> it's in my one eyeball. Oh. Ah, ah, okay, it's one, I got one eyeball for sure. Oh. That smells, right? Uh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think the... I got the pepper spray up wind. <laughs> I, ran, mm -hmm. I ran into it. Oh, 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 that hurts one eyeball. Yeah, that just... Why did we do pepper spray so much this month? Been a theme. Uh, we gotta knock it off. I know. This is the last time for pepper spray until another idea that no, really good. No, we're done. I think it would be worse without the glasses. It's not the worst pepper spray feeling I've had, but I just did pepper spray, so I feel like I'm a little bit adjusted to it. We're almost to a million likes on that video to coat your whole we're body. We're not anywhere near that. We're not anywhere near. Work on it. Let's bring it back to the legs. First shot that hit square, nice little lump. We had a reflecting blow. The stomach shot, so we went here, a crazy lump. One a little bit lower. That one hurt a lot because there's nothing protecting that. This is the most painful one I have on my body currently, right on my rib. That was a 30 foot shot. Then we got the, the pepper spray in my face. My whole face burns. My it legs, definitely does. My legs looking. That looks worse than any of the ones I got. I'm not, you're, you're the world's strongest man. I'm an average guy, what do you I'm, expect? I'm, I'm a scientist these days, okay? What am I? A scientist assistant. Should've got my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna check back in a couple days, show you pictures of how these all look, uh, and let you know the final thoughts on the Berna CL. Next week is stinky stuff. Uh, that's gonna be so bad. A lot of throwing up. I think we will. I actually think we will puke, and uh, then that'll make Jake puke. I've never wanted to throw up on camera, but I guess I'll see how it's I look. It's gonna be involuntarily. I need to wash my face. My eyeball burns. <laughs> It's time for the Burner CL data review. Three days after the experiment, the most painful recovery areas were on my stomach, which had lots of bruising and scabbing. The shots to my legs weren't quite as bad in terms of recovery, but still left some pretty sizable bruising and scabs. Mark, on the other hand, wore shorts and somehow ended up with an injury just as bad, if not worse, than mine. So, is the Berna CL a good self-defense tool? For its size, it definitely packs a decent punch. Shots to bones or less fleshy areas are extremely painful and damaging. However, I've got some issues. Its effective range isn't anywhere near the advertised 60 feet. And the pepper rounds don't even come close to traditional pepper spray in terms of effectiveness. In the best case scenario, which is close range and you manage to land all 10 shots to vital areas, it could work well against most people. But if you're not in that ideal scenario, I think its effectiveness drops off fast. And if your attacker is someone like me who doesn't respond well to pain compliance, you just might make them angrier. It's definitely the most compact launcher I've tested, but nowhere near the most powerful. That's just my take, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. And if you want to see even more behind the scenes chaos and unreleased footage, check out my YouTube memberships or Patreon. Links are in the description. And if you like this video, don't miss the time Kentucky Ballistics shot me with the Berna Mission 4. Now that launcher left a much, much stronger impression. Literally.